Hello everyone, this is Brian. In this video series, you're going to learn how you can deploy an Apache HTTP server on a Google Cloud Platform provision virtual machine and secure the cloud with the TLS certificate generated with the Let's Encrypt. This is the part one of the series and you'll see how you can provision a virtual machine from GCP. Be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the video series broken down into three different parts. As the very first step, you're going to see how you can provision a virtual machine with the Debian Linux image on GCP. This is what you're going to see in this video. In our next step, you're going to learn how to install Apache HTTP server. Lastly, we'll secure route by creating TLS certificate using REST Encrypt. This tutorial assumes that you already have a Google Cloud Platform account, which is in shortly known as GCP. As of right now, GCP has a promotion where you can have $300 credit that will expire after 9 days. That should be more than enough for our tutorial, and you can do so much more. Sign up process is pretty simple. Once you signed up, you'll be greeted with the GCP home screen. On the left hand, you will see a three horizontal bars, so click that. Scroll down to find the compute engine. From there, select VM instances. So here's our VM instance landing page. On the left side, you will see the compute engine and VM instances, so that's you can how you can find there. So then you have different options here. You can do create, you can do import, or you can do the take the quick start. So there's options to use in migrate within compute engine. So take the quick start gave like options to how you can start with the web app, etc. etc. So we're gonna close that for now. This give like details documentation if you understand pricing, so the option is available. We're gonna use this uh, simple process of creating using web console, so we're gonna click that. So you have to fill out different information here, and then there is, you can hover over um, each field question mark to see what it is. And there's different options you can play with it. There's a new VM instance, and there's new VM instance from template. And then there's on the right side, you will see that credit you have left. There's pretty a lot of uh, credit. So you can keep track that way. And then there's new VM instance from template. So there's option. There's a new VM instance from machine image. So if you want to create from the OS images, you can do that. But one great option is the marketplace option. Here, when you click that, you can search for different application, for example, WordPress, and then it will be just able to bootstrap and install right away. So that's really great way if you know what you want to install. But we are not going to do this right now. We want to create a new VM instance, and then we give some name, and you can also add a la label so you can identify what you want to do with it. We can select the region. So right now I'm in Texas, so I'll just leave it as a central as a default, which is Iowa. And you can hover again to build to give some detail what it is. And machine configuration shows a different option. So we want to select the simplest possible one, but the other options available. So there's a series you can define it. Machine type. So here's here's the important thing. You're not gonna use a default one. We're gonna use the smallest possible one, which is E2 hyper micro, because that's enough for our demo purpose. So we select that. We leave that as default. So root disk. So default is Debian, which is version 10 buster, but you also can choose other um, images, like for example, Fedora, Rail, and there's even Windows, etc., etc. Now each VM image has different licensing core cost, so be aware about it. So you can also select a version and give it boot disk type, and then click select. So here we leave it. Everything is default. We can configure service account, but you have to allow the firewall with HTTP and HTTPS. That's important because we need to use it later. We want to, when we want to secure the route. And then we want to click create. 
So this will take a just a few minutes and to um spin out and for vision VM and this star. So just give we a little while, it should be ready pretty soon. So here's our VM instance. So we click the instance and we can see it, some details here. What we provision with. So here's our, our different information here. Here's the machine type. And you there's network information. If you click network, you can kind of see how our network is configured. There's some the, the subnet information. You can also configure firewall. So it kind of shows how our ingress is configured and what port is allowed, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. For example, we have a HTTP and HTTPS, so all the things can be configured here. We can also select the monitoring, and that kind of shows that our CPU utilization, web memory, and other things. And then screenshot is if you want to back up your Vim image, that option is available. So we when you click external IP, it doesn't go anywhere because we don't have anything running right now. So when you click SSH, you will see different options. So you can open with the browser window or with G Cloud CLI or SSH client, all those options available. And you can select, you can click the three dot on the right side and see th there's different ways to manage our VM. Now we click SSH, which will bring our default SSH option. So this basically transfer our SSH key and trying to connect. So here it is. So you can connect and then do different things with it and our network is enabled so we can able to see the um the connected network to outside that's it thank you for watching be sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel don't forget and hopefully we can see you again next time bye bye